want to make sure that we are staying connected and praying. We don't want this to just be a prayer walk. We want it to be a lifestyle of praying for one another. Because I, I heard some stories, and I'm hurting for you. I'm hurting for many of you. I'm carrying the weight of some of the things that you all are going through. And so we need to make sure that we're we're leanable. Because you can't lean on me if I'm not leanable. So make sure that you got your demeanor and everything straight because somebody is depending on you. Don't be so snappy. I'm talking, but I'm not snappy. I might be tomorrow. So, so let's keep that in mind, okay? So we're going to ask that two or three people who have a testimony, come on and share your testimony to one, three, that simple mathematics. My name is Naida. I'm from the Burr and Sub Club. And I just want to thank God for being here. I want to thank God because in 2014, uh, well, in October of 2023, in October of 2023, I began to go down in my body. My knees were hurting. They didn't know what was wrong. January, they took me to the hospital and gave me every test in the world, from bone marrow to cancer to the to anything because the doctors could not figure out what was wrong with me. Oh, sorry. Okay. The doctors could not figure out what was wrong with me. I was at my Ola. I was at the best of the doctors. I went through everything. By June of 2014, I could not walk. I was 95 pounds and I was just deteriorating. Uh, my family came and moved me from Loyola. <laughs> And the doctors, I was married. I was married to my partner, my best friend, my everything for over 18 years. Oh, Jesus. Oh. He was my everything. Oh. And that man left me in a hospital by myself. And it, he does not even have a spirit to abandon me and to be mean and tell the doctors not to use his insurance and everything. But I could not sit there and worry about that marriage. And I had gave up. I gave up in the county. The doctor was told my mama, you need to get down here and sign the DNR. We don't know what was wrong with her and we are losing her. Her body is shut down. We sure her kidneys and organs are being affected. My mother looked at the doctors and said, God didn't tell me she was leaving here. And I'm not the DNR. And so I laid there and I began to when you submit to something, yes. that thing will begin to take over you. So when I submitted to it, it had me. But on July 4th, I told my family, don't come out here. Y'all been coming, and my mother knew. She said, I knew you was ready to give up. But our doctor came in. She said, promise me one thing. You will be here tomorrow when I get back. And I threw my head. I knew I was giving up. I didn't turn the TV on or anything. That night, I told God, take me out of here because I'm tired of fighting. To get up from this bed to what? A unfaithful marriage? To struggle, business, family. It looks like I was not succeeding. And I told God, I know I'm not perfect, but I'm faithful to you. I'm faithful to you. I said, so devil, I'm in a win-win situation. If he takes me up out of here, I'm going to be with my Lord and Savior. And if I live out here, oh, I'm getting up to let the world know that he is able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all I can see. And then I just went to sleep. And then I felt my door open. It was that night, it was dark. I felt the presence. Here I go. That must be the devil came to come to get me. Now, I ain't never read in the Bible about a devil. But I felt, and I closed my eyes, but I felt the finger touch my big toe. And this was a let. Oh, back this up. They told my mother that I would never walk again. That's a lie. So I thank God. That thing turned around when I got up. They said, you got to go to a, a nursing home. Long story short, I got up and my mind changed. I began to tell my mama. I didn't even hold my Bible. I said, never see, that's why you got to study. To show that self a proof. Because I couldn't hold the Bible, but I had that word written in my heart. And when I began to study the when I began to say, I shall live and not die. Baby, I walked up out of the house for the 19 days later. Now, I was in the 
know it needed some help, but I got up out of here. So I come today to let every circle in this circle know. I don't care what the diagnosis is. Can you hear me now? Mine is always bad. Tell her to talk loud in it. So just talk loud. Can y'all hear me? Yes. Oh, See, really it's still going on. Come on. Okay. Okay. I do have an outdoor voice. So uh, almost 40 years ago, November 6th, I gave my son up for adoption, and <laughs> oh, God bless me, because I wasn't guaranteed to ever see him again. Last night, we got to go up on top of the parking lot garage, and we watched the fireworks, and you know, those are just all the blessings that I got. My life was really a tragedy until I woke up and I found God. Yes. yes. And He has given me so much, I was never guaranteed to ever see Him. And He's a part of my life. He's my friend. I just wanted to share that with you guys. Happens all the time. We love you, Karen. Thank you so much for sharing. Because somebody else has, has lost their child to the streets. Yes. Someone else may have given their child up for adoption for whatever reason. God knows. And so this is just giving you that hope that you too can be reunited with your child. Yes. So let's just praise God for Karen's victory. Okay. Hello, my name is Rhonda. I'm from the Matches Sub Club. Hey, um, that's two weeks ago. I received a call Saturday morning that my brother had been rushed to the hospital. He's 43 years old. Okay. Okay. And um, he got to the hospital. His <laughs> His blood sugar was 500. His, his blood pressure was 200 and something, over 100 and something. He's 43 years old. They said if he didn't get to the hospital 10 minutes later, he wouldn't even be here. He was in a coma for three days. I went to the hospital, me and my family, and we was around here just praying. So I reached out to a few of my double dust sisters and told them to pray with me. Yes, yes. And... I reached out to my family and we did a prayer circle. Mm -hmm. He was in a coma for, like I said, three days. He got released from the hospital three days ago and he was able to walk out with a cane. Yeah. 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 Yeah.